archivist uh, at the Virginia Room at Arlington County Public Library down the street. Um, the Virginia Room uh, contains a whole bunch of different things, and we are more of a, we're less of genealogy and more of a local history collection. Um, that's that's our purpose. Our purpose is, I mean, that's our purpose. You'll find other um, local, like the one in Fairfax County, when people want more advanced genealogy stuff, we're like, go to genealogy, but um, we have uh, an unusual thing called the Arlington Community Archives, which uh, houses collections of local people, organizations, um, and other prominent businesses and such. Uh, we house their records off-site, but we do have a nice uh, store, um, uh, we do have a photo collection that we're about to start putting online, about to meaning the next few weeks slash months. Um, no, no, I'm serious. <laughs> and uh, of course, as you can see, we have maps, we have oral history collections, and again, more about um, the people that that make up Arlington and the uh, non-governmental organizations that um, kind of define Arlington and uh, the way that it works. Um, things like civic associations, uh, Elizabeth Campbell, who founded the WETA, um, a whole bunch of like the the Rotary Club and the and the Kai Wives and all sorts of stuff like that. And one of the, our strengths actually is urban planning. Um, Arlington, because of its interesting location, we're I think if not the smallest, then the second smallest county in the United States, 26 square miles. And to be blunt about it, a large portion of our land is taken up by dead people. So we have to be creative about how do we build, how do we develop, how do we grow. Um, and because we're also sort of, uh, I mean, not only are we, we small, and lots of people like to live here because we're so close to DC, but also people travel through us to get to DC. So we have to, there's a lot of ways to balance it, uh, to, to balance how we grow and how we develop. And um, when April, the former intern, uh, asked me to come in and talk about the history of Virginia Square. I honestly had to say, well, we don't have a, much, a lot on Virginia Square as a neighborhood. Ballston and Clarendon and on either side are much kind of bigger deals, but I realized that they, the three of them, and then of course, you know, going into Clarendon, going to Roslyn, that whole corridor is uh, a really great way to, you know, kind of dip into Arlington history, especially in some of the um, ways that uh, transportation and development kind of worked hand in hand. And actually this library and this campus is kind of a reflection of that as well. This is from, unfortunately, it looked, yeah, it really looked good in Photoshop when I was playing with it this morning. Unfortunately, it's now too bright. Um, is a map from 1920. I'm not gonna invent the wheel. I'm not starting at the beginning of time. Um, Arlington County used to be, uh, after the, this portion of Virginia was handed back to Virginia because they realized that they didn't need it for DC, there was Alexandria County, which covers the current Arlington County and the current city of Alexandria. Over time, the city of Alexandria became more urban, and the northern part of Alexandria County became oh, stayed rural. Lots of dairy farms, lots of farms in general, but lots of dairy farms. And eventually, Alexandria said, you know, we're dropping the hicks, we're going to be a city. And they, they incorporated as a city, and in 1920, Arlington County named itself as Arlington County because it did have Arlington Cemetery, Arlington House. It was kind of like the big, the big centers of it, and that's how they named it. But um, as a whole, though, um, I think really the modern era really started dipping into what we think now of now as Arlington County with the introduction of the trolleys and railways. That came in about in the uh, late 1800s, uh, mostly 1890s were the first ones to come in. Um, and there were already, and I'm going to play around with this, I'll get back to that. There we go. This is from a book by John Merrickin on the Washington, uh, was the Washington Virginia Railway Company was the amalgamation of two smaller uh, railways. But as you can see, Alexandria, Mount Vernon, this is, uh, sorry, I gotta get a little bit closer. Again, do you travel as well as well? Clarendon, Boston, and such far west, Fairfax. Um, 
getting goods, services, people into DC and then back out. You know, this is trolleys, this is a new thing, uh, wave in the future. And they wanted pretty much all the stuff out here in this rural area to get to the bridgeheads. Um, Roslyn, at the turn of the century, uh, recovering just before, just after 18, uh, 1900, had been totally cleaned up. Roslyn used to be uh, like a den of iniquity. We're talking about mm -hmm. whorehouses, we're talking about bars, we're talking about gambling houses, racetracks, you name it. Um, it got cleaned up, and um, because the aqueduct bridge was there, uh, predecessor to, I think, Key, um, they decided to, uh, you know, this is, this. it became a kind of a whore for like shipping and materials and stuff that would go into D.C. coming in from the more rural areas out in Virginia, and they wanted everybody to get to the bridge heads. Um, so you've got you know, your trolleys coming in, and uh, actually, and it's so you know, you, you, so let me try and get this around. <laughs> um, Clarendon, uh, Boston had already had some uh, some development, not a whole lot. We're talking about a couple little houses and maybe post office. Clarendon really didn't start developing until that that just happened to be a place where two railroads met. And they said, well, if this is where two railroads are going to meet, well, you know, we're going to put people here. We're going to develop here. It's, it's a natural junction point. Um, and that's where you start getting, I'll get, I, can, I have a detail of it. Um, the railways are the Washington, Alexandria, and Mount Vernon, which is the one that goes down this way. And then you have the Washington, Arlington, and Falls Church line, which goes that way. And eventually they merged into the Washington, Virginia Railway Company in about 1913. Um, but as you can see, the lines kind of meet here at Clarendon. Um, Boston had, uh, was already already had a little bit of development, so it was natural for the trains to start going through here, and these are the car barns at the end of Boston. Um, and uh, Lacey, Lacey Station was named after a local farmer named Robert Lacey. Um, Clarendon, the developers named Clarendon, Clarendon after the Earl of Clarendon, which is, it sounds like they just went through some history book and picked it. Nobody knows why they picked the <laughs> Earl of Clarendon, it's just, they thought he was cool, I guess. I don't know. Boston used to be known as Balls Crossing or Balls Crossroads. Before that, Birch's Crossroads, because it's really the Birch family that was there, as opposed to the Ball family. Uh, Virginia Square is actually where the Ball family um, was. It? John Ball um, and his wife Mary Ann had a farmhouse on the south side of Washington Boulevard, um, about 12 and a half acres of farmland. And this is, this is pretty much where they were. Um, Ballston, even though it's, they, when developers start naming things, they named it Ballston because of the, the family name. And the Ball family, too, which still exists today, comes from John and Mary and Ball. Um, and they're, they're a little bit farther, right? Kind of more in between the two. So, um, so they became, a, uh, yeah, so you had more of the development of um, around here. By 1920, if we go back to that other map, actually even better is the road improvement map, which kind of shows you. And, uh, <clears throat> okay, so um, here you go. Here's Rosalind. Ooh, could you zoom, zoom in? Uh, I can try and zoom in. For it looks better earlier this morning. But it's also, but actually I wanted to show you really quickly. This is the most lead of the county. Now this was all, this is a map that covers 1920 to 1931 because it shows different roads that were developed at different times. Uh, the <coughs> red ones were, were roads that were improved in 1931, the orange ones from 1928, and the green ones from 19, uh, 1930. So you can see, if this is Clarendon right here, oops, don't worry, yes, no. I think we're going to do this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it didn't work. Okay, anyway. You can probably tell. Right in here, that's Clarendon. You can see that there was, it was already the, um, oh shoot, it was the, it was the Georgetown Falls Church Road that was already there, and that's why they brought in one of the railways, and then they added the other railway, and, and it's just sort of like, this is where we're going to live, because this is where we're going to develop businesses, because this is where everything meets. Uh, which is kind of, a, I guess, a natural human thing to do. So you have Clarendon right here, You've got, um, and you can see how the roads, is, 
all the developments of the roads are just kind of radiating out from Clarendon. Uh, Balsam's a little bit over here, so you've got some good ones over here, and this is cherry yellow here. But this line, you can see it all coming out from there. Then a little bit down here, but all this, all is farms. And this is still pretty late in the game. Uh, there were farms here until like the 50s. Uh, there was a Arlington County dairy um, owned by the Marcy family. So, you know, this was still pretty rural. As you can see, there's not a whole lot of people here. And they're all right here. <laughs> um, so, this up here. So, again, this is, uh, so this is all during the first 25 years of the 20th century. Um, over time, however, came the car. And people stopped taking the train. People stopped taking the trolleys. Um, uh, the the train cars so they, they drop the tro electric trolleys eventually, and they tried these things called auto trailers, where you like hook your car up, and that just wasn't working. It just it was big, it's cumbersome. Nobody wanted to use it. By '38, um, most of the most of the trolleys were gone. Uh, you still kind of had the old tracks. I think even now um, you can kind of see remnants of some old track beds and things like that. Um, Let's see, yeah, it was the Archer's Town Falls. Sorry. And uh, so, you know, the remnants were still there. And in, in 46, Arlington County got the uh, right of way for street purposes and for, in, uh, um, for the railway, for this western railway here, and turned it into Fairfax Drive. So they got the rights for the land and they turned it into a street. Um, so you had Wilson, which uh, actually, yeah, the Georgetown Falls Church Road is now known as Wilson Road. So you have Wilson Boulevard had now already been established. Fairfax, uh, Fairfax Drive is starting to be built. That all these roads are more improved, are, are being uh, improved, and cars are on the rise. Um, so things is a different dynamic about how people were getting in, how people were getting through Arlington. Uh, the next kind of big development here is Boston, just on the other side. Um, Boston in 1951 started uh, built a place called Parkington. I don't know if any of you remember Parkington. Parkington was big because you could park. Um, it had, at the time, the it was actually it was the very first group of stores under a building closed under an arcade, and it at the time it was built was the largest indoor parking structure in the world. It, this thing was huge. Um, I could buy hex. Uh, actually, they had all these windows, and you could put you know they would they would spell out messages like Merry Christmas. And, uh, and it, it was huge, it was huge. And the other big thing, what was so, another big thing that was so important about it was that everybody could drive there and could park there. And that kind of showed how um, people were start more car oriented. You had more shopping centers. Uh, people were driving to shop. Uh, Clarendon started actually, um, now people could access Clarendon by bus. The, when the trolleys faded, the buses came in. But this is still kind of hard to get around in Clarendon because you had all, um, you had the split, the one-way streets, there wasn't a lot of parking, there was a lot of room. You had a lot of small, small buildings, small businesses kind of close. And I mean, think about right now, the heart of Clarendon. Um, you know, there's not a whole lot of people. Uh, Boston was a little bit more open. You could put your car there and, and such. Um, so again, more, more towards the west. Um, let me just catch up with myself. So um, now everything's more car oriented and it's changing the development of the county and the season and everything. This, is, this will be pretty interesting in a minute. Uh, again, this is a full county map from 1990. Um, what's interesting here is not only do you see the roads, but some of these darker lines are the railway maps. So you can see how the railway maps kind of um, intersect with the roads. Here's the Arlington and uh, Washington Arlington and Falls Church Railway right here. And that's pretty much goes you know, right down the heart. Here's, um, and then here's the uh, Washington OD Railway. And up here is the Washington and Alexandria Mount Vernon. 